Right, so we're here on the end of the 2023 calendar year. We've got Ilkeston at home this afternoon. Danny, how's the, how's the season going so far for yourselves? Yeah, it's been good. I think, obviously, um, it's been a challenge, not just um, on the pitch, but off the pitch as well. We've obviously uh, tough, some, tough summer with recruitment, uh, players leaving, missing out on targets. And then when we get on the pitch, finally, we have a good pre-season, apart from the last sort of pre-season game where we lose sort of three of the four players. And then since then, it's kind of just been a an up and down season where we kind of get players fit and then they sort of break down and then the new players get injured. So, yeah, it's been a frustrating one. But overall, I think first half of the season, we've, we've competed really well and gone through some really challenging times. As you say, I mean, this time last year, you were playing Kidsgrove and beating them 3-0 down here on the last... 2022 game we had, now we've got six draws in seven against some really established sides in the league, especially the likes of you know, Workshop and Marine and teams like that. And yeah, it's, say, it's, it's it, gone well. It has gone well. I think this little run now, it's um, we've now got to go and back it up. We've played against some, obviously, the, the, the top teams in the league and another tough, tough game today against Ilkeston. We know that. Um, so we've got to back it up today and, and over the Christmas period of picking up some positive results again. So if we do that, I'm sure, obviously, we'll look back at the six draws and say they've They've been fantastic results. I think, obviously, if you go then into a little bit of a, a period where you haven't picked up a few wins, it, it, then you can start looking at it the other way. So we've got to make sure that this Christmas period we go and put in a couple of really positive performances, get some positive results, and uh, see where it takes us. Richard, we've had the um, you know the, the community clubs down as well lately, with the likes of the all abilities teams that we've got coming in today. We've had a lot of the interaction for the younger age group. What sort of things that doing for the club as a, as a profile in the area as well? Um, we've worked massively hard over the past probably two years on, on, on building our links in the community and, and seeing how we can interact with grassroots sports clubs, um, our own academy, our own pathway. Uh, we've, we've formed the, 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 the uh, Ability Counts team, which we've got as guests on us today. It's, it's an ongoing thing, it, it, it's got to be more than just a football club these days. Although we all love to come and watch and support on a Saturday afternoon, it's more than just a three o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. So ultimately there's a bigger picture out there that we're concentrating on uh, trying to develop. Yeah, I'd definitely say it's turned into a business as well, more than anything now as well, isn't it? It's always been a business, but it, ultimately it's, uh, it, it's, it's about um, building those links going forward and building a bright future and uh, it's massively important. Danny, as you say, we've got Ilkeston this afternoon. It was a... Uh, Bit of a painful one down there, but a lot's changed since then. Thought yeah, I think obviously not just us, but I think there's only four or five of their players that played us that day that are still there. So there's been big change. That's part and parcel of this league. There's lots of changes throughout the team. I think I think we've got five players and they've got five players. So it's going to be a completely different game today. We've just got to go and continue these good performances that we've had lately and, and throw it all together and hopefully get three points against a very well-organised team. Speaking of players that are still there and have been for quite a while, it was announced during the week there that a friend of yours, the next player of yours, Luke Joyce, is retiring at the start of 2024 and it's our game down at Radcliffe that he's picked as his last game. Anything on, on Luke as a player and, and that one? Just a great guy. It's, um, I've had the privilege of sharing a dressing room with him as a teammate. Um, obviously, uh, come up against him as an opponent and obviously now we're very good friends. Obviously, I spoke to Luke regarding this sort of decision a, f a few weeks back and... Um, the next chapter of his career and um, look it's obviously it's great for us to be able to be the last team that plays against him it's quite um, sentimental for myself obviously Luke's a, a close friend of mine and, and the families are, are very close so we'll, obviously hopefully he won't have a great last game of uh, his career and we can pick up three points and sort of ruin his day but like I say it's, um, he's a credit to himself and his family because he's a fantastic person a fantastic player and, um, and, and he's a close friend of mine and obviously Jamie Devitts as well. Fantastic, well look Danny, good luck for the, the game the rest of the season and hopefully it's a, a well-deserved Christmas break for yourself no matter whether it's 24 or 48 hours. Thank you. Can I just say before we go, just a Merry Christmas to all the, all the Reds fans. Um, come down, get, get behind the boys on, on New Year's Day if you can't make it today. Hope you all have a, a fantastic time with your families over the next few days and we look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you.